Hi, I'm Simo Tuomiston. And I'm Richard Darst. And we're here to demonstrate installing a Anaconda environment through an environment.yaml file. Yeah, so this is uh, especially for this course data analysis workflows with R and Python. So first step, you should install uh, the Anaconda installation uh, for your Windows. So you can install it by going to this uh, Anaconda page. And from here, uh, choosing download and then choosing your installer. We recommend that you install it as your own user. So not for every user because that will create uh, problems later later on or can create problems later on. So it's better to install it as your own user because then everything works as your username. Okay, we after you have uh, successfully installed the Anaconda Navigator and the Anaconda, you should start the Anaconda Navigator from your uh, start menu and you will get an interface looking like this. Okay, now we can continue with the actual installation. So from here in the Windows page, you can see the instructions. Let's download first the environment file. So we are going to be installing a huge bunch of software. So I will save the link as and save it to some, some downloaded folders. And we will be using that environment to describe what kind of a environment we want to create. So in this case, in the environment is basically one self-contained directory that has a bunch of package installed. So you, the reason we do this is so that what you install here won't affect anything else and vice versa. Yes, and we, Anaconda can provide you with a lot, lot of different packages uh, at the same time. So let's click here at the bottom, there's this import button. And over here, let's put data analysis as the name of our environment that we want to create. And let's import our environment specification by going to, uh, let's go here to the environment YAML and import it. So this takes some time because there's a lot of different software that has to be downloaded and then figured out. And it's not just what we say, but there's a lot of other dependencies here. Yes. So now we'll pause the video and come back when it's done. It could be, how long can it take, Simo? Is it, uh, it can take multiple minutes, depending on what kind of hard drive you have. It will download up to like, well, a gigabyte of stuff. So it better not be in a, in a 3G connection, but yeah, it will take a few minutes or five minutes or something like that, 10 minutes, depending oh. on situation. But as long as the bar at the bottom is running, you will know that it's still going on. Yeah. So we'll see you shortly. Yeah. Welcome back. So that took all on 10 or 15 minutes. <laughs> yeah. Quite long. But yeah, we finally got there. So, so we now have the data analysis environment here. You can see the environment and that it contains all of these different packages. Okay, so now we want to actually run uh, our notebook server from here. So let's go to the home page and you can see that, well, I had it already chosen the da data analysis uh, environment. So if you have it, have it chosen, you can now launch a Jupyter Lab session over here and it will launch it will probably launch on a, this window yes so yeah. let's put it over here it automatically finds the web browser yeah it will automatically find the web browser uh it, it you might get this if you're running it on on windows or linux or mac you might get this uh this kind of an error just press, uh, press build it doesn't really matter and okay, now you are most likely in your own like user folder where you have, where you are currently uh, situated. And now you can run, let's put this over here, from the instructions page, you can uh, now uh, uh, run this console, this Python console over here and run these two commands. So what this does is that it, it imports the Python's git library. So you copy 
uh, copy them here and shift enter to run. It will download uh, use the uh, Python skit library to import uh, or clone the repository to, that we use for the course. Mm -hmm. So if you go, you can see that there's now this data analysis workflows uh, yeah. folder and there's stuff that has happened here. So these are the course materials that we'll be using. Later on, we'll be talking about how to update this material once we update it ourselves. But currently we can now test our installation. The first thing we need to test is the downloading of the data sets. So uh, the data sets are available here. Uh, they are in this notebook. And if you now run this notebook, you can see it will uh, start downloading the data sets to the data folder. Mm -hmm. So here in the data folder, there's plenty of data sets that are appearing. Yes, there they are. And it's yes. done. And now if you're running the Python part of the course, you should go to the Python exercises and check out the uh, exercise one and run and run all cells and check that the, uh, it works correctly. The first cell might take a while because the matplotlib library that handles the plotting, it will uh, construct some fonts and stuff like that. So this first cell might take a while that for the first time you run it. Okay. And now and here, here we, yeah, here okay. are the, uh, we see that the uh, notebook works correctly. If you're planning on using R, go to the R exercises and run the first notebook and run, run all cells. Mm -hmm. And you will see that uh, it will import these R libraries, might take a while for a second for the first time you, when you load it. But it should get there eventually. Yeah, so now you can see that there's stuff happening. Yeah. And at the end, you should have a few nice plots like this. Yes. Okay, so this concludes the installation for Windows. Okay. And you can now Great. shut down the server yeah. and wait for the course to start. Yes. So remember the key points were install Anaconda, which we didn't show, install the environment, and then start Jupyter Lab, download the data, and then test running one of the notebooks. So yes. Good luck. Bye. Yeah. Bye.